法律弯弯。朋友们，大家好，欢迎收听德州中文台，我是胡美健。在今天星期四，带给大家的就是我们的法律 One o n 呃，和来自休斯顿的高阶警官 Officer James Sabota， 在接下来的时间和大家一块儿共度。欢迎朋友们收听。Good morning, Officer. Welcome to join the show. Good morning, Pam, and thank you so much for having me on the show again. And we have a very important topic today,、uh, and that's going to be about. We'll start off talking about、uh, student safety on campuses. Yes. So it's it's very important, and it's very important not just for the、uh, parents to listen to get these tips, but it's also important if you got any students to listen to that and talk about it as parents and students. 好，在今天呢，我们要和朋友们和听众朋友们讨论的呢是关于在校园安全。事实上，我们有听众朋友特别提出来这一个问题，所以我们今天一开始就请啊、uh, ，Officer Sabota 为大家在这一方面先做说明。Yes, Officer. Now, whether you're you're planning、uh, for next year or either in high school or college, it's very important to sit down and. Talk about these particular topics when choosing、uh, a, a, a high school or a college,、uh, or if you're already enrolled in one,、uh, to investigate it. And as parents or students, don't be scared to go to the administrators of these campuses and ask these questions because it could save your life or, or save you of becoming a victim. And we'll start off. Okay.、Uh, well, I'm gonna ha- I'm gonna just read off some topics, and we'll talk about them in detail. Okay. Is- okay. 呃、uh, ，excuse me， 在这里呢 ，Officer Sabota 一开始就要提醒大家，告诉你的孩子啊，在校园里边有任何的问题，碰到了任何的问题，呃。有时候会说：“哎呀，我我不好说，不要说，说了以后跟跟老师讲，跟这一个教官，跟这个教练讲，我就会有麻烦，人家会讨厌我，怎么样？不是，这是为了他的安全。如果有碰到这些问题，告诉父母以外，在学校赶快告诉师长，在学校里边的行政人员人员或者教职员，千万不要轻忽这一个管道的重要性。Yes. Now these questions can be asked, and this is just a list of questions. Is Crime reporting process at that particular school. If, if your if your student says, "Hey, there's a crime that happened," how is it reported?、Mm. Next would be alcohol and drug awareness. Does that school have a alcohol or drug awareness policies、mm-hmm. in place?、Mm-hmm. Is the campus well lit? Is there good lights? Are the lights burned out if they have to walk between classes?、Mm-hmm. Do they have campus security that's walking or driving around the dorms, around the classrooms? Next, is there evaluation training,、uh, uh, evacuation? Like if they need to run, if there's an active shooter or there's a fire,、uh, is there type of training?、Mm-hmm. Uh, and also first aid training. Is there any first aid training in case there's a fire or there's a shooting? Do they can they can they attend to your student if they've been injured? These are some questions we're going to talk about. So the first one, we'll go back and we'll talk about crime reporting process. 好，通常校园里边的话，当然了，这一个校园是否安全，有几个要点你可以看一下。第一个呢，他有没有这个犯罪的，就是罪犯的，呃，这个呃。报告的啊，这我要报告哪里有罪犯？我要跟你讲说哪里有犯罪的情形啊？有这一个呃偷盗啦、打架啦，我这个管道在哪里？向谁去？再来呢，他有没有对于酒精方面、阿尔好方面的这个呃政策管制？然后校园里边有没有足够的灯？啊，亮度。那么再来呢，就是在学校的安全设施有没有警卫在随时的巡逻？那么对于发生紧急状况，最后发生紧急状况还有没有撤离校园的这一个计划安排？怎么样子撤离？紧急状况发生时候要做如何的应应？这是关于一个校园学校所安排的安全方面的一些步骤，我们在学生和家长可以事先了解来 review。Yes。Now it's very important is when your student does go to a campus, be aware of how they report the crimes. 
Now, there are some schools and some colleges that do not like to have anybody report a crime because, A, it makes the school look bad. Uh, they don't want that, uh, the, you know, the principals or the deans, they don't want it to get on the news to make it sound like it's an unsafe school. But it's very important to know the process, know who to call at that school if you hear of your student is having their victim of crime. Find out. Find out who you call. Have that in your speed dial on your cell phone. Know exactly who to call. Now, what type of crimes happen on campuses? I guess the most dreadful would be a active shooter. Mm -hmm. uh, if somebody, if there's a shooting or a, a bomb go off on a school, uh, make sure that it's reported. Make sure that you can call that school and say, what's going on? Has it been reported to the police? Are the police there? Is there is the is the fire department there? Is there an ambulance there? Uh, so make sure that. And some of these schools have a like a they'll pre-record something and they will text you with a current situation at the school. So make sure that you are aware of any type of reports of crime that are happening at the school. Mm. 好，再来的话就是呢，在学校里边就是发生事情的时候啊，呃，处理是怎么样？有没有呃，就是一个有效的呃这个过程联系啊？对方这在校园里边、学校里边的这个呃行政人员、师长，或者是安全，或者是校警啊，这一个 crime 发生的时候，呃，这些。罪行发生的时候，校园的安全受到影响的时候，学生的安全受到影响的时候，那么学生的一个报告，他的这是怎么走的？这个是一个非常重要的一个基础啊！所以 ，Officer Sabota 在这呢，先说明一下。Yes. Now, don't let anybody at the school, if you call and report a crime that your、uh, child is a victim of, whether it's also bullying, when somebody bullies you. Or a sexual assault, or a teacher doing something inappropriate.、Uh, don't let the school tell you, "Oh, it's been reported already.、Uh, we, we don't need to carry this any further." You have to make sure that you report this crime. And if you do,、uh, if they blow you off or they go, "No, no, it's not necessary." You call the police and you meet the police at that school and you march in that school and you make an official police report. If it's a crime related that you need to report, always make an official police report. 要记得一定要把这一些犯罪的事件变成是一个正式的向警方的提出的报告。因为有的时候呢，如果说在学校方面，呃，大概家丑不可以外扬，所以哎呀，跟你讲，这个不是什么问题，不用担心。哎呀，没事了。呃，或者呢，你在学校里面送的报告，送的这一个 crime 的这一个事件，但是呢，学校并没有真正的去处理啊，就是放在那边，你送归送了，但是他并没有处理。如果在这种情形下呢 ，Officer Support 他建议大家直接联系校外的真正的警方，然后跟警方在校园里面碰面，然后呢，把整件事情向警方做一个正式的报告。啊，向警方做报告，这样子呢，把你的整个的呃，这个你看到的或者遭受到的呃不合适的、不正确的，或者是说这个犯罪的行为啊，就可以有一个正式的法律方面的给警方的报告。Yes. Now, one of the biggest crimes that we're seeing on college campuses and also high schools are sexual assaults,、mm -hmm. and in many cases, these these and it's. It happens mainly to girls, but it happens to boys too. If there's a bully or somebody that touches them, or does something sexual to them, these students may or these these uh, uh, victims may be intimidated by the suspect to say, "Hey, if you call the police, if you tell the teacher,、uh, I'll put this out on social media that you caused it, that you that you assaulted me." Sit down with your students. And do not let anybody bully them to scare them、uh, or threaten them that if they do call the police or tell the school about a sexual assault,、uh, 
don't let your student be bullied because then it goes deeper. Then if they're bullied, then students are embarrassed uh, and they get threatened all the time. And then it happens more and then it, it happens more and more to that victim. 好另外的话就是呢现在呃更重要的要提醒大家对于在学校尤其是高中啊很多这种高中或者呃在初中这些还校园里面有的时候就会有不正当的不应该不呃不合法的这种性骚扰。那么这些性骚扰的事件发生了以后一定要特别保护学生啊不要呃被玻璃我们就说不要被这个暴力对待然后不要被取笑不要被这个大家指责所以在这种情形发生的情这种事件发生的时候一定要严谨以待仔细小心的处理报告向警方联系 Yes Now, next is alcohol and drug awareness. This is a big problem in our campuses today. Uh, educate your student. Educate them. Do not drink alcohol while, at, you know, it, well, they shouldn't be drinking under 21, period. But do not let somebody bring your student a, any type of alcohol drink because it could be tainted with some type of poison. And also... Do not tell your student, do not uh, buy any drugs or take any type of pills. They may say, oh, maybe it's just an aspirin or this is like a pet pill. It will, it will make you feel better because we've got a big uh, test tomorrow and it will make you smarter. Just take this pill and buy it from me and it will make you feel better. Do not do this because what we're seeing currently in 2023 is these drugs, they are manufactured in South America and foreign countries, and they have poison and they have fentanyl in them that can not only be uh, uh, harmful to you, but they can be deadly because there's no restrictions at all. And the drug dealers are selling and giving these pills that are laced with fentanyl. So make sure that your student does not accept any pills because even if, even if they say, oh, it's candy, do not mm. accept it. OK, 好再一次的呢呃在下边的话呃 Officer s u p p o r t e r 就提醒大家校园里面另外一个现在非常严重的问题就是呃这个酗酒和呃这个违禁药物的使用所以一定要提醒你的孩子啊在这一方面请特别特别的注意违禁药品很多时候从这个中南美洲啊他们这个过来的像现在非常在普遍流行的 v a n t a n o 那么这一些东西呢嗯也制作的很漂亮很可爱啊还有不同的口味但是呢它对身体的损害这不是一天两天说得完的也不是一天两天就可以把造成的损害给搬回来恢复的。这是对健康来讲对身体的损害甚至于对性命的损害。这大家都知道它的严重性。另外呢还有就是在酒精 alcohol 这一方面都要提醒我们的家长。啊提醒大家特别特别跟自家的年轻孩子们跟学生们在这一方面一定要好好的讨论提醒他们多为注意。Yes. Now it's a fact there are t h e r e s an increase in overdoses in campuses. Biggest thing to do also is call your school and ask them do they have first aid training? Do, is, are teachers, are there anybody in the school, are they trained at first aid to save your student's life? In case if it's a, just a normal medical pers,、uh, problem or if it's an overdose, do they have a plan in place with first aid? 好在这呢 Officer Sabota 特别提醒大家啊要跟学校来谈一下的就是要了解学校如果发生了这种药物过量啊这不当药物使用过量的紧急情况学校的第一处理或者紧急救护的安排是怎么样他是怎么样在医疗方面设备方面人员方面有没有接受过这样子的训练知道如何处理当违禁药物或者任何药物使用过量所发生的反应要如何急救这是很重要的。所以呢这一方面也要提醒我们的朋友们要注意。因为的话在现在啊呃这种违禁药物的使用
呃发生这样的情形太多了，所以提醒大家不要轻忽。Now also campus security. Does your the high school or the college do they have campus security? Is it one person or is it a whole team of campus security that patrols the the hallways, patrols the campus? Uh, patrols the dorms、uh, that checks on everybody, and don't you know? Ask these questions. Ask these questions at the school. And you know what I did when my daughter went to college? I took a few days, and for an hour here, hour there, different parts of the day, I sat back in my car and I watched to see if there was campus security walking, or if they're riding around in a in a golf course. Or if they're driving around a car, and how often do they drive around? Because if there's not campus security, the chances of criminals coming onto the campus is and will create a, a criminal act is much greater if you do not have campus security. 另外就是要看一下在校园的安全措施怎么样，包括了他有没有安全警卫。在校园里边巡逻，另外呢，还有呢，他有没有安全这个摄像机啊？设这个在校园里边，那么对于比较不容易看到的角落，能不能够都包括在里边？我想这是大家也应该真的要提高警觉，能够利用现代的科技来增加各方面的安全。Yes. Now, also, is that campus well lit? Do they have lights? If these students sometimes in colleges they have evening classes, and if they have to walk from dorm to do- dorm to campus、uh, on the campus, if they have to walk from class to class, are、uh, there lights? Is it dark? Make sure that they have、uh, it's well lit, and their safety is paramount when they're going from from、uh, building to building. 再来就是要看，当然了，校园里边的话，有的时候会有呃晚上 evening 的这个课，那么校园就暗下来了。所以校园里边的照明设备、灯光是很重要，不是课堂里边，是校园里边的照明设备，这也是大家应该要考虑注意的。Yes. And also to protect their belongings. In other words, if they have a purse or a laptop, a iPad, cell phones. Uh, make sure that just like in public, they're not left alone in a classroom or in a dorm. Make sure that they are kept up with because other students could steal them and put them on eBay or sell them to somebody else. Or there could be somebody posing as as a student walking in the dorms, checking doors. Are、um, the doors? Are is your dorm? Uh, room is it locked all the time? Do you have things left out? Is how easy is it to get into your dorm room to steal something?、Uh, so sit down with your students and tell them to make sure that those doors are locked and also their their personal belongings are kept safely. It's very important. 现在呢，很多时候我们会有这种 high tech 的东西啊，像是 laptop 啦，这个 iPad 啦，呃，还有很多的这个。价值不菲的这些用具，而事实上，这些用具有可能是只是生活用具，有可能是很可能也是跟他学习上面必须的用具。一定要注意这些，呃，这一些物品的安全。另外呢，如果他住在学校的 dorm， 就是我们的宿舍啊，也要注意宿舍的门是不是随时都是安全的关闭的。而不是敞开，欢迎呃有的没的阿拉啊，这个阿萨拉的呃张三李四王二麻子都可以随时走进去的。他有没有安全的一个在这个大门的管制管控啊？呃，这个门是不是是就是关起来？然后有有时候你必须要有卡，有的时候有密码，有的时候你必须要有警卫在那里。啊，在那里呃看着，那么确保里边的宿舍里边学生的人身啊、呃，这个人身安全。Yes. Now, one last thing about this,、uh, safety on campus is evacuation training. Make sure, and you can probably go online to that particular school, and they most campuses do, whether it's a high school or or any school or college. That they have it online, and what is their policies and procedures? If there is an active shooter or a bomb going off, this is very important. It's unfortunate that you know, last couple of years we have active shooters that went into a school.
school and there was no training at the school to say, you know, let's get these kids out of here. Let's, let's, you know, let's, their safety is very important. Some of them did not have this type of training. So it's up to you as a parent and a student to find out what their policies and procedures, print it out online, read it, study it, and go with your student to find out what the policies are and where you as a parent, where you could uh, pick up your child in case if you needed to uh, come and save their life. Very, very important. 好，最后就是要看到，就是校园里边对于紧急情况，它的疏散计划是怎么样。那么，朋友们，你也可以在他们的网页上，你可以在各校园网页上，应该可以查看得到，然后把它印下来，和你的孩子来讨论一下，了解一下紧急事件发生的时候，从哪里撤离，要到哪里集合，应该要做些什么事前的准备。呃，或者呢，你自己也应该跟你的孩子要讨论一下，在紧急事件发生之后、撤离之后，你跟孩子们要如何联系？或者在哪里碰面，或者要透过什么机构、透过什么地方，呃，来传达彼此安全的消息，或者呃，彼此发生了什么事情要转到什么地方，这一些呢，这个都是和。就是紧急事件发生的时候，我们希望这个家长和你的孩子和学生啊，都能够在事先有所准备。毕竟呢，有备无患，希望不要有紧急事情发生。但是如果发生了的话，已经有了一些准备，最起码不会手忙脚乱。然后那个时候呢，完全是无头苍蝇，不知道怎么样子来应对处理，反而会造成更大的损失、更大的伤害。提醒我们的听众朋友 ，Yes, officer. Now, just to close on the topic of of safety、uh, at a campus, you know, we don't mean to scare you. These tips are not to scare you. These tips are to educate you, because it's unfortunate that I have interviewed. Of victims of crimes are parents that had their children injured and, if not killed, and some of these parents have told me they say, "I wish I had better tips. I wish I knew better. I wish I knew what to do. I wish my student knew what to do because they would have been alive today." So don't be one of those parents to say, "I wish I would have known better."、Uh, take these tips. Discuss it with your children. You know we're all busy. We're all busy in our days. You know between work and your children. But take those minutes out to talk about these safety tips and review them and educate your children. Because don't be one of these parents to say, "I wish I would have known better." 好，这些呢，今天提醒大家的呢，都是重点，并不是要吓你。啊，不是要吓你，但是呢，这些重点都希望大家预先做好准备。我们防范于未然，以前我们最重要的是。要知道如何先保护好自己，然后呢，这一些能够事先有了一个准备。当呃危险麻烦出现的时候，我们知道怎么处理，而把所有的损失、所有的伤害降到最低，这个是我们的目的。好，今天我们和 Officer Sabota 的节目要在这里也要告一段落了。再次的谢谢朋友们的收听，也谢谢 Officer Sabota 为大家带来的重要的讯息。我们也和他相约在下月。个月啊，五月份继续空中讨论。Okay, officer, thanks for joining the show today and also sharing such good information, important information with our audience. And time is ga 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 flying. Yes, goes by very quick. <laughs> and it was a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me on the show, and look forward to next month's show. Yes, look forward to talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. 